Okay, uh, hello friends, uh, welcome to our, our channel. We are calling it Maths or Mathematics Clinic, where we are here to provide the, the necessary skills, knowledge that is required for you to be able to sit for ECZ exams. So, in this presentation, which is uh, the third presentation, it not, it's not the second, but it is the third presentation. Uh, what are we trying to do? We are trying to see how we can solve quadratic equations by the quadratic formula. All right. The lesson number one was using factorization. Number two was using factorization, but by product sum and factors. So lesson number three. We are trying to see how we can use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Now, when we are supposed to use a quadratic formula, it means that a kind of an equation uh, with regard to its expression cannot be factorized. Hence, you need the calculator. That's why I have this calculator. Of course, I'm using a phone. So for you to be able to do it nice, you need to have your own scientific calculator. Okay. And in most cases, where possible, you leave your answer correct to two decimal places. Yeah, if it comes in an exam, the 12 paper 2, usually it's 5 marks. Alright, and I think I'll, I should be able to explain to you how marks are allocated. Okay, so the question says, solve the following equations, giving your answers correct to two decimal places where possible. Alright, the first one is 3x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we are saying, for us to solve this quadratic equation, we use a quadratic formula. What's, what's the formula? The formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Okay, take note, this is a c divided by 2a. Now, in an exam, <coughs> uh, in an exam, uh, the formula is z usually given, all right? Take note, friends. The formula is given here. I hope you're able to see this. Okay, it's usually given. Okay, so you don't need to do it. This is the paper two. Okay, the formula is always given. Okay, so now in this case, where you have three x squared minus x minus five is equal to zero, you must be able to identify the three constants a, b, and d, c. What is a? a is a coefficient of a variable that has a, a, a power 2. So when you look at this one, this is power 2. The coefficient here is 3. So our a is 3. b is a coefficient of a variable that has power 1. Well, in our eyes, where well, we can't see any power. So here is power 1. Its coefficient is a negative 1. Then c is negative 5. So our a is 3, b negative 1, and c is negative 5. So with those values, you substitute here. So where there is B, put negative 1. Here where there is B, you put negative 1. Put in brackets. Minus 4A. What is our A? 3. So I put 3 here. In the brackets. What is our C? Negative 5. You divide everything by 2 times A. 2 times. What is our A? Our A is 3. Okay. So you begin now to, to punch on your calculator. So when you punch on your calculator, negative Starting by negative 1, you have positive 1. We can do it direct. Plus or minus. Uh, when you work out this, negative 1 squared is a 1. Negative is negative, it will be positive. This by that is 12 by 5, you have 60. Alright? Then it continues this side. So you have 1 plus or minus 61 when you add here. Over 6. So x is equal to 1 plus or minus. Here is square root. You just punch a square root. Okay, so the square root of 61. Okay, this is what I'm getting on, on my phone, but you can punch it on your on a calculator, you verify 7.81, so on and so forth. So this is what we are, we are, we are getting 7.81024967. There are a lot of numbers, you can write all of them if you don't mind. Okay, this is what we have. So now, what we are going to do, we we'll say 1 plus 7.8. Whatever answer that I'll get, I should direct divide it by 6. So we are saying, you say, 1 plus 7.81 1 
0.24967, there are some numbers. Whatever answer to get direct divided by 6. When you divide by 6, the answer will be 1.468374I459. There will be some numbers. But you must round off your answer to two decimal places. So after a point, you say 1, 2. You cut here and consider this number. So if after the line there is a number from 5 and above, it's taken to be 1. 4 and below is 0. So 8 is 1. 1 plus 6, 7. So this is your answer. Remember, we use the plus. Okay? Then you do the same approach. You say uh, 1 minus 7.810246. Nine six seven everything. Of course, there are some numbers divided by six. Once you do that, you get this. You can be very fine. Of course, maybe there will be some difference at the end here. You gain that is six point eight one zero two four nine so on and so forth. Again, you round off to this to two decimal places. One two. You cut here. You consider zero as what? Zero zero plus one. You have got this. So this is our answer. So the values are one. Two. Now, how do we give the five marks? We'll give you one mark for 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 sub, substituting correctly, so you take note. So here we'll give you one mark. All right. Then we'll give you one mark here for writing this value. You must write this value in full. So we give you one mark. Here we give you one mark. Again, here we give you one mark. There we give you one mark. When you count, I think you get five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's how we award the five marks. Okay. I hope it's clear. So I'll do the second one. Then the rest you will do yourself. Right? But the approach is the same. Okay. Let me... So the other question that I'll do is H. All right? Now, when you look at H, the Z3, Z squared is equal to 7Z minus 1. This one, you must write it in, in the standard form, okay? Why you introduce it here? So for 3, z squared is equal to 7z minus 1. You're going to say 3z squared minus 7z. Because this is plus, all right? When you take the other side, it becomes minus. Then this one becomes plus. It's equal to 0. From there, we identify your constants. Our a is 3. Our b is negative 7. Our c is 1. Then we substitute. Okay, so with this one, we'll be doing it together so that we see what we are talking about. So, we are going to say Z is equal to negative. What is our B? Our B is negative 7. So, we put negative 7 plus or minus. Uh, negative 7 squared minus 4. Uh, what is our A? 3. And what is our C? 1. Okay, everything you divide by what? You divide by 2 times, what is our A? 3. Okay, so we have got 7 is equal to, uh, this will give us 7 plus or minus the square root of, when you say negative 7 squared, we get 49, right? Minus, this by that is 12, by that is 12. Everything should be divided by what? 6. So z is equal to 7 plus or minus. Uh, so what is um, uh, 47, uh, 49 minus 4? So you have got it 37. Over. You, use, you can use your phone. I mean your calculator. Sorry. So that I have a phone here. Alright. But you can use your. If you are not sure. It's not for people because calculators are around. So use your. Your. Your, 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 your calculator, all right? So you say for 9 minus 12. So that you, you are very certain with what you are, you are doing. Okay, so we, we arrive at that. So now what we are going to do is, you must get the square root of this first. So you say 7 is equal to, Z, sorry, is equal to 7. This is how I write my 7, doesn't matter. You get the square root of, so here I'm going on this symbol, square root. Even you can do the same, but some calculators will demand that you write the, the value then square root. So you must know the calculator you are using. Alright? So this is what I'm getting. 6.0827 uh, 
सिक्स टू फाइव थ्री जीरो टू नाइन एटी टू देर कुड बी सम डिफरेंसेस एट द एंड यू डोंट माइंड अबाउट दोस थिंग्स ऑल राइट बट दोस आर जस्ट इन माय ना डिफरेंसेस सो वी डिवाइड बाय व्हाट सिक्स सो आई सेज जेट इज इक्वल टू सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू is you say seven plus six so like me i have a value on, on on my phone you you have it on your calculator so you may not need to cancel okay you just have to say the same value plus seven plus seven you have 13 point something isn't it now you don't need to write it you can divide direct that answer okay this is what i have so i'll say this answer divide direct by what six Divide direct by six. So what do we get? We get. I'm getting about two point one one eight zero four six zero four two one seven one six three. This is what I'm getting. All right. But you round off these two two decimal places. So you're going to say after a point one two, you chop a line. You consider this. If it is five and above, it's one. Four and below, it's zero. So we take this one as zero zero plus eight. It's eight. Two point one eight. This one is our answer. Then, or you can say z is equal to. Um, again, you come here because we use the plus here. All right. So you're going to say seven minus this value. Okay. So you go back to your to your to your to your calculator. Of course, I'm using a phone here. I'll say seven minus um, uh, six point something. Okay. Uh, I have to take my time so that I don't make a mistake. Minus. Okay, seven minus six point zero eight. So when you say seven minus six point something, here I'm getting zero point nine one seven two three seven four six nine seven zero one eight. So don't worry if there is some differences at the end there. All right. Then you round off your answer to two decimal places. We are going to say when you write this. Uh, actually, this answer you don't need to forget. When you add, when you say seven minus that, you get this. Uh, don't forget to divide by six. Okay. So I'll divide the same direct by six. I don't want to write the the, the answer. So I'll say divided by six so that I get the final answer. All right. Instead of writing this, I just write the final answer here. So when you say this plus that and this minus that, whatever you get, direct divide by six. So you have got it zero point one five uh, two eight uh, seven two nine one six one six nine. So I like keep on saying, don't worry about the the differences at the end. It's fine. Uh, so you have got uh, this now. So you are going to say. One, two, you cut and consider two as what zero was below five. So zero plus that, so what is zero point one five. So it is advisable that at this stage here you write the answer in full because, like I said, you'll be given one mark for the substitution. Okay, then they'll give you one mark for writing this answer in full and this one mark. This one, so all together you get the five. Okay, so some steps are, are not really uh, important. So <clears throat> I've done two. I've done this one and this. Okay. So the rest, the approach is the same. Where you're supposed to re rearrange, you rearrange. Okay. Now there is the maybe one thing that I have to emphasize here. Uh, now sometimes questions. If, for example, you have x. Is equal to one over three x plus two. Then you solve. 
as a quadratic equation. Alright? Or we have got it, 2x is um, this. Okay? Now here maybe there could be some number, let's say 4. Okay? So now what you are going to do, you are going to introduce a 1, then you cross multiply. So you are going to say x, 3x plus 2 is equal to what? 1. So here you multiply, you have 3x squared plus 2x, alright? This guy can become a negative 1 this side, so you have got this. So at this stage now, you apply the formula there. Okay? So for this one, you need to distribute. You say this by that, 8x squared, this by that you have got plus 10x, then minus 12x, minus 15 is equal to what? 4. So here you have 8x squared, minus 2x, minus 15, uh, then you can say minus 4 is equal to 0. So 8x squared, minus 2x, minus 19 is equal to 0. So at this stage now, that's when you apply that. Is it okay? Okay, I think you have presented all what you need uh, under this part where you're supposed to use the formula. Nothing else here. This is what you are going to have. We are going to have in an exam. I think the, this presentation has been very helpful in my in my view. So if you like it, just subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much.